Hello and welcome, B8KD, and thank you for joining, my friend. Hey. Does your name mean something special? Um, so it's a uh, abbreviation for baked. Oh. I don't really uh, smoke pot anymore, but um, I was a pretty avid pot smoker back in the day, and that's hence where I got my name from. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I want I want to say that I um I've been going through a lot of your videos and what caught my attention except your good PvP skills is one hour Wednesday series. I think that's some good stuff. Yeah, I enjoyed doing it. Um I kind of ran out of uh games that I enjoyed playing or were interested to play. Recently I got into uh Guardian Tales and I know my uh, community really hates when I play it, but <laughs> I'm I'm like addicted to that game right now. I started playing that game uh, just because you played it. So, <laughs> but but yeah, um, it, that that is a, a, a interesting game. I cannot really understand it, but it, it's a kind of gacha game. But I enjoy when you open stuff. So, how long have you played Echoes? Echoes uh, since since the beginning. I think I started about a week after the game released. I uh, used to watch uh, Darth Microtransaction on YouTube and um, he was actually the one that got me into Eve Echoes. Um, he's one of my favorite YouTubers and I saw him playing and uh, yeah I just started to get into it. Isn't he doing gacha games? He is yeah he's pretty much all gacha games. Okay I think I know who it is. You did not play Eve Online then before? Never not even a day. So this is impressive. You actually know a lot of PvP for just playing Echoes. I think, I mean, I might, I might like lowballing people, but PvP in Eve Echoes is not easy. But I think you you mastered some some aspects that most people have problem with. Yeah, I enjoy um, kind of like the uh, the rush of PvP. Um, I especially liked it even more in the beginning because you had so much more on the line and you could pretty much lose your whole bank in just <laughs> one PvP session. So that's that's really what got me addicted to this game. Yeah, I, I agree. That That's why I like PvP too. <laughs> what do you do in Echoes to, to make a living? Well, I'm part whale. Okay. Uh, I really dislike mining. And I did make a mining alt, but I just uh, I just can't be bothered mining. Um, I work a full time job over fifty hours a week, so when I get on to play, I want to just go slap some cheeks. I don't want to go sit mining trying to, you know, build my isk up. Um, I take advantage of updates, like for the uh, the previous update before this one. I bought a whole bunch of large torpedoes and sold those i made a fortune this last update i was probably one of the first people to start selling uh, battleship nano cores and i sold those for an absolute fortune so that uh that's funded a lot of my my kind of off the chart builds and now i'm just trying to stay above water yeah that's, that's very good so a bit of marketing too yeah i should have watched some of your videos i could make even more i uh, don't say that <laughs> but all right <laughs> um so i uh, i really like your two recent videos scan devil i think it was amazing and i gotta say when you left when you left off you have grabbed that um that dominix and uh, you came back and you got him again and then like because he 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 probably felt very comfortable there. So you got there again, <laughs> and then your Cinnabal friend come. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I really like it. I was like, I was like waiting for something because I, I thought, okay, you have to leave again or something is gonna happen now. And like, yeah, Cinnabal comes. And I was like, yeah, very nice. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> that was pretty cocky on that Dominic's end, but. You know, that's what happens when a little tiny frigate gets shooed away. Sometimes they just warp off to the sun or just hang out in the same anomaly and continue routing. It's it's kind of funny. Yeah, very nice. I like it. I like it. So, how many kill marks do you have? Um, do you have many kill marks on the ship? 
Or are you like me and just die with every hit? I kill like five people and then I die, and five people and then I die. Well, I uh, I play so many, I fly so many different ships that um, my kill marks are spread out. I would really enjoy seeing like the uh, the API kill board that me and you were talking about. Um, being able to just pull all my kill marks and just kind of put them all together. Yeah. Um, I probably don't have as many kills as everybody imagines, but I probably have around a thousand kill marks and then probably around 5,000 total, like being on kill mails, I'd imagine. But no, no, um, no single ship with a lot of kill marks. So the ship with the most kill marks on my account is a Condor 2. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so, it's, they're good. That's, uh, <laughs> I don't fly one anymore, of course, because there's better ships out there. But when the game first started, um, that's really what uh, I got my channel going, was flying the most expensive Condor 2 in the entire game, slapping some cheeks in it. But um, I think I'm nearing about 150 or 200 kill marks just on that ship alone. Is that the In a Frigate series? Um, not necessarily. That one is kind of like, um, doing storyline missions in a succubus. All right. But, um, it's some of the first videos I ever, I ever had, and they're pretty cringy to watch now, but they're called <laughs> like a 200 million-esque <laughs> Condor 2 goes PVP, and it's, it's hilarious. I mean, if you're gonna fly a Condor, you have to pimp it up, I think. Yeah, and that was before battle cruisers were out, drakes and cyclones, everything. So that yeah. was when a Caracal Navy was the meta. Speaking of kill marks, since you don't collect kill marks per se, but do you remember a time when you lost a ship that you knew you had kill marks? And if so, how many? Well, the kill marks don't disappear, if that's what you mean. But When you die with your they ship, they disappear. They stay on the ship. So if you go buy a new Condor, um, what? Kill mark. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what? I, I'm gonna look for my kill marks. Shit! I thought it was like even line when when they just disappeared. So when I lost the ship, I didn't bother to look. So yeah, really, that, so you will have that. like in 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 two years, three years, if you keep playing the way you do, you will have a ton of kill marks on every ship. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, um, I had no idea. Yeah, I've I've lost like ten Condor twos, and I go and buy a new one from Jita, and there they are. <laughs> I have to check my Raven. But all right, uh, that that was that is interesting, and you learn something every day. Okay, I was I was talking to um, Giga Forta uh, a lot before, and I learned so much stuff that I thought I knew. <laughs> so it, it's amazing to talk to different people it's it's great yeah he's uh, extremely knowledgeable and lore and everything something i'll probably never pick up <laughs> yeah he knows so much where do you decide where to hunt enemies like like uh, do you have an idea where you go currently i've been in low sec because that's where i've been finding the whales the 10 minute timers kind of suck but um, having scanners, um, I haven't even been to Nolsec in over a week. But in a typical scenario before scanners, I would pretty much just choose the most dangerous areas in the game. Um, Delve or um, wherever else just the highest cluster of people are. Um, and that's kind of where I just choose to hunt. Find battleships out there, Macarials, you name it. It is one of the most dangerous areas in the game because you can get banged out by their whole fleet of 20, 30 in a matter of seconds, but um, being <laughs> chased around the area, searching for kills. I think that was some of the funnest times I've ever had. I have I have a video where I... I think I flew 80 jumps in Nolsec trying to find someone to fight with my, with my Raven. And I was so tired at the end. <laughs> and I just... Yeah. I see people in the... In the last system, like I, I, I picked out a route and I was like, okay, I, I check everything here and everything was dead. And like the last or like second to last um, system, I see like 30 people and I'll be like, okay, 
Okay, I gotta find someone here. And I'm warping. Uh, I'm jumping in the gate and, and I see a station. I'll be like, okay, I go to the station. I, I don't wanna go around and, and like hunt them because they would just they would just leave. So I go right to the station <laughs> and I like taunting them. And I'm landing on the station and they are uh, like they are getting ready for for like a massive fleet. <laughs> and okay. I'm landing right on them and I'll be like yeah, let's just fight. <laughs> I, I like that video. I, it's it's actually very nice. But yeah, I died, of course. Oh, bummer. <laughs> like, but but the fun thing, if you look at that, um, if I would have warped in like I used to, like at 50 or 80, like when I'm just spying, I would have landed on top of like two battle cruisers, and I would have had the whole fleet like 80k away. So I could have probably killed a lot of people if I just went in like 50 or 60k, but I didn't. So shame on me. You know, I, I'd say the same thing. I When I lost my daredevil, I, I always warp to anomalies at around 30 to 40 kilometers. So I don't get dogpiled. Yeah. And the one time I didn't warp to 30, I warped to zero and died. Yeah. So I, I feel you on that one. How much did you lose? It was 3.1 billion esque. <laughs> Is that the most expensive you have lost? Yep, that's the most expensive. I lost my Cinnable once, but that's not a, definitely not as much. Um, I had yeah. all B-type weaponry on my Daredevil. Oh, that was crazy. Yeah. Oh, and, th and that, that's gotta be recent. Yeah, yeah. In the... It was the video I released just yesterday, so it's pretty fresh. <laughs> Be sure to go check it out. If oh, you yeah, I will definitely do that. Um, do you remember the name? Yeah, yeah. it's Scan Devil Part 2. Oh, it was that one. Yeah, I saw it today. I didn't realize you had that gear on. Yeah. But okay. I kind of scrolled through it quick. B type, micro warp drive, everything. So yeah, there's a Spanish. Yep. there was a Spanish guy the guy that I tried to jump in the Dominic's and I translated what he said and he actually said, we aren't going to take your loot. Oh, and I didn't know what he said until later, but he left my loot there and I came back in a Reaper and got most of it back. Oh, you did. Okay. But, uh, oh, if he would have saw my kill mail, I, he probably would have changed his mind. <laughs> yeah. Or he was, he was, uh, an even bigger whale than you, and he was like, "That's nothing." <laughs> yeah, who <we'll see> knows? <clears throat> yeah, I, nice I wish I wish I was a whale. I would have done so much stuff. But like, yeah. okay, you're making like some crazy videos with your PvP, and uh, now when scanning has is is in the game, how much easier do you think it's to find the targets? Because I would assume that people are less active in Losec now with that update. What is your point on that? Um, hundred percent, they're less active, and it does take longer to find people versus day one of scanning. But um, I was almost to the verge of quitting the game before scanning came out because I would I would log in for my two hours to play, and I would surf. Anomaly, anomaly, anomaly through entire systems and not find a single person. And it was, it's just rough because you, you hit a system, you got to check local. There's eight anomalies you got to check, eight mining belts. So even with people less active in low sec, it's, I think this saved PVP for a lot of people, including me. Yeah, I believe it's very good. So about Echoes, do you think Echoes is going the right way right now? With updates and stuff? In a PvP sense, that's really where my community is. Um, I think they're doing a lot of good things. And like I was just saying, they kind of saved PvP for a lot of people. Now, for like the industry players and storyline runners, um, that stuff is like really like outdated now like it must be boring as heck running the same mission you had from day one you know they just i feel like they just need more content 
and like things to do. And I'm not sure if I have a good recommendation for that, but um, I feel like they, they fixed the PVP and the arena's coming soon where a lot of people are going to be excited for, but they need something else. And I don't think Nihilus Space was it. The amount of content and ability to find that stuff takes too long, and that's just my opinion on that, I guess. Story mission runners, they rely on like constant income of ESC, and uh, Nihilus Space is not that. So, and I totally agree, like they, they messed up the, um, the story missions totally with the uh, scanning. Because now they have to do their story missions and they have to be in low sec and they have also they have to be ready for PvP. I think I think it was very, very bad. Yeah, and I don't think the PvP community is larger than the PvE community. Definitely not. But how Echo seems to be operating is they come out with something like this, and then in the next patch they're gonna you know, come out with anti-scan rigs or anti-scan modules where you physically can't be scanned. And then we'll kind of shut down the PvP community. And then the next patch, a new PvP update will come out where we can take off their modules. You know what I'm talking yes. about. But yeah, it, it goes in phases. It kind of, you know, slaps one side in the face and then it goes back and forth. So eventually I, I feel like low sec runners are gonna get their update they need yeah i think they should be i like they could be better ideas i did i did a video where i talked about um why not make a new type of missions that is in low sec that pays more but you have to um, be prepared for pvp and move the the story missions to high sec again i mean then it's good for both yeah, and I think they should tier it as well. So I think they should even have storyline missions in Nullsec. Yes. Um, of course not in the same area. I, I think it should be random what area it's in, but it should have such good rewards that the risk pays off, and then it should go down from there, low sec, and then they should even have high sec story missions that pay a lot less, but you can still, you know make a little bit of money doing them i agree uh also uh, shadow star he commented that something in null sec would have been very interesting like a null sec mission and i said something about kind of like eve online where you have uh, uh missions for for sansha and grista and stuff like that yeah exactly the uh the devs of this game don't like taking uh tips or recommendations from anybody they just kind of do what they want and tell us to deal with it yeah they do the stuff to make money it's very apparent yeah i think they could listen to some of our recommendations though and still be able to make money oh um, yeah i think they would make more yeah and i one of the best events that everybody always talks about was our Halloween event that we had. Oh, yeah. And we just keep telling them this this was the event. This was the best event you ever had, and they will not, like, budge. They just keep coming out with these crappy paywall events that... Um, the Concord stuff. Yeah, they're nice. They give good rewards, but, like, for me, I'm not even participating. I... I think I bought the level 15 pass just to support them, and I'm level 16 now, so. They had an event during the Christmas that I didn't participate in at all. We got, like, some, I don't know, uh, Christmas tree uh, missions or whatever. It was so bad. Yeah, the missions sucked doing, too. I, like, th they could actually make at least four four events a year, at least. Yeah, and they could really get a little more creative, too. Like, you gotta kill all the rats to get a key, and then that key unlocks a chest, or just anything. Yeah. You do the events in Nullsec, they're, you know, way more rewarding, but... I don't know. I could go off on a tangent on this, but... Well, you may. Like they just, they, they just this need is to the be place. Like, <laughs> to just they just ramble. need to be more creative. 
Yes, and and what what you said about hauling, the hauling services and uh, like the gameplay for those who want to be haulers is non-existent today. Um, there's so much stuff that needs to, like, either get reworked or get added into the game. On Eve Echo's Discord, they have suggestion page. They deleted it. They don't want your suggestions. Well, they still have it, but I don't think they do anything about it. I've been typing there so many times. Yeah, part of the um, content creator community. Um, a week before that event where you could unlock the Kaldari pod, they took um, like things we thought about that that event and we all typed in something we all had our own say and we had great ideas i think we brainstormed as a community like really good yeah and they didn't change anything i think they changed like one or two small things that nobody really recommended but um it just shows how much the devs don't really care about our say i guess and it kind of sucks is that kind of what you think that they don't care or that they don't like why don't they care is it because there's no profit i mean we're asking for naming our ships or getting like cargo containers in in the stations and they cannot do that why can't they do that are they gonna sell us like station slots <laughs> or like what yeah. is the reason you know i think they're they must be short-handed or something or they just don't have enough dev power to you know do everything other than the stuff they kind of put on the roadmap and i think potentially after that roadmap finishes this year they might start looking into other things to reinvent the wheel or take our advice or something but i just imagine they don't they don't have the power to do it what would you want in the game? Like, what what would you like them to put in or change right now, or or within a year? So, um, they honestly put in exactly what um, I wanted is scanning, um, and how they did it is like just spot on. So they obviously they didn't take my advice on that; they're already doing it. But that's number one for me. The other thing that may come along with the arena is some sort of ranking system for PvP. Like, um, you were showing me the Z kill board, and that's that's awesome. But I want something to pull off my account and show how many, you know, total kills and total isk and, you know, average kill. Some that would be awesome. Some kind of statistics on your character. Yeah, and in a sense, um, other than my kill marks that nobody can see on my ship other than myself when I zoom in, I really have no, um, like, no trophy, nothing to show for my accomplishments. I'm, you know, I want some sort of ranking system, maybe, yeah. that shows, you know, you know, and that's probably going to come along with the arena you know if you start grinding that out there'll be tears or something hopefully <laughs> that will show you know okay this guy's good at pvp do i really want to fight him or i think that would have been pretty cool but they, they do have um medals right yeah they yeah. kind of abandoned the medals they they've given out a couple and uh they weren't they're, they're for cool causes i'll say the least but Nothing, uh, nothing spectacular. It should be something visible, either on your uh, character image, yeah. like a, like some star or you know some, like a border that shows something. I don't know. Uh, I haven't thought about this at all, but I'm pretty sure that like if you think about it for a week, you can get a few couple good ideas, and that would be very nice. I think. You know, that's I'm thinking about that now, and that's a great idea. Because they could do things like um, you get a medal for 100 kill mails on your account, 1,000 kill mails, and when you see that medal show up on the, the yeah. UI, you, you know, quiver in fear. And there could be things like, um, 
you know, completing a hundred storyline missions, you know, yeah. mining like a billion ore. You could be like a elite <laughs> ore metal, you know. I have some friends who probably have done that already. Yeah, that'd be awesome. But that would be something that you could grind for and actually have an accomplishment. Like for the poor people mining every day, they don't have anything to show for it other than a few ships they sold on the market and they go right back to their mining belt. Like, yeah, and they they, they don't even have a cool ship. Yeah, why not release like a faction procurer or whatever? And <laughs> that would be juicy to kill. But uh, yeah, I actually talked about this. But like, think about like a, a Garista procurer or something. I I don't know the stats on those ships, but I know they they the better they are, they they like um, increase by five percent or something like that. So imagine a Garista uh, barge, and it's mixed with uh, with Garista, and that is like I think it's Galente and Calare. And like they have the the rattlesnake, it's a very tanky ship. So, so the barge would be a very very tanky barge. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fucking awesome? And then yeah, like if you if you have, I don't know, like Sansha type ship, then that has very nice like laser beams. So that 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 crap is mining like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And the price it would be sky high, and they would be like, I'm gonna get that mining ship, and they have their goals. And we would have our um, uh, challenges or achievements, as you say, and we can also have like this medals or stars or uh, borders or whatever that shows like, okay, this is this is a crazy miner. This guy has mined more than the whole alliance, and that guy over there who comes in a in a daredevil, he has killed more ships than has been built, kinda. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Damn it, Netties, make it. I know. Well, let's we'll keep feeding them stuff. Maybe they are taking comments away from us, or who knows? Maybe they have a notepad where they just write down all our good ideas and <laughs> and make another game. Yeah. What's uh? What's your favorite ship to PvP in? Oh, um, either the Raven or Harbinger, I think. Oh. Those Harbringers are scary. They have pretty fast tracking on them. Yeah, I remember we uh, when we took Delve, there was not a lot of people that actually forced the way in. So when we finally got to the station that we were going, like that we were going to uh, take over, it, it was like me for a week in my Harbringer, <laughs> standing outside <laughs> the station and shooting people, and they couldn't kill me because I I did this docking thing. So I docked when I had like low low armor and I had so much armor and I had so much DPS it was crazy it was good good memories and that that's why it's a good ship that's awesome what's your best kill mail that you have that you ever gotten in your name um i usually like pvp by myself we had a contest in uh, in pantheon like 4 or 5 months ago and it was a 6 day contest and I was I was away, so I, I didn't actually know when it started. So I started like on day three, <laughs> and people had like ranked up um, the prize money that they like they, w like from what they killed. So we would actually get paid ten percent or twenty percent. No, no, ten percent for every every value of the kill mates or something like that. And I was like, okay, I take my raven. So I went to the systems where where it was okay to pvp to get paid for and <laughs> i i think i got at place three <laughs> and i was alone <laughs> all my kills was um was solo kills and i think i killed like m most of the ships were like to 2.5 billion but i think there was um a vigilant that i killed that was Almost three billion, I think. So I think that is the most expensive one, unless you you counting stations and stuff, because I've been on a lot of stations too. But yeah, yeah, yeah it's very expensive. Yeah, yeah, and he he was very he was very dumb too. He he approached me, and I had double webs, and uh, yeah, that wasn't good for him. Uh, that's awesome. So um, 
I haven't asked, like, uh, in what alliance are you? Uh, we don't do alliances. Um, so you're in a corp? Yep. So um, I'm a part of Revs. Uh, me oh, okay. and Hopper and a few people uh, created this corp as kind of like a relaxed, layback corp. You don't need to come on and do CTAs or yeah. mine corp. Um, the tax is low and we're just kind of like a, a free ball and corp. You come in, you come kill people when we have ops going. Um, but we've joined alliances before and we're all pretty much savage pirates. So we don't work well <laughs> when there's too many blues. <laughs> um, we want to be open to pretty much killing everybody. We don't target one alliance or one corp. Uh, we just go roaming and look for people to kill. So that's some of the most enjoyable times you can have on the game when you're, you know, roaming, just slapping some cheeks, nobody to care about, or any blues flying around you can't kill. Just be free. I, I was a pirate in EVE Online for many years. So I, I know that feeling. It, it was very nice. Yep. Very poor, but very nice. <laughs> You're you're constantly looking for stuff to not invest but buy before stuff happens so it gets more expensive so that you can pay less money in the game to to sustain. Yep. Um yeah. buying and selling plex. You since I've been playing so long, you kinda know when it's gonna dip or go up and yes. certain patches will have updates to certain ships or you know. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that's about the extent of me making money. I I run Inquisitors. That pays out fairly good, but in low sec. That's, yeah, low sec and a little bit in null sec. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah. It was it was very nice talking to you, and um, as always, I learned a lot. Of course, thanks for inviting me. What can I say? Like, good luck and keep up the. Good PvP, and I hope I don't run into you. I'll brawl with you a little bit. I'll I'll look for you in game. Yeah, do that. <laughs> okay, you take care, and uh, thank you again. Adios. Adios. Just a quick note: if you know someone interesting that you would like me to do a podcast with, hit me down in the comments. I will try my best to make that happen. Hmm.